management is important in Los Angeles for a few reasons. Uh, first and foremost, from a water quality perspective, stormwater is the number one source of that pollution. Uh, it's the largest non-point source, as we like to call it, uh, impacting all of our water bodies, including our rivers and, of course, the Pacific Ocean. Uh, as well, uh, it's important because it constitutes a really uh, critical part of our water infrastructure and supply, or it could if we were to actually capture it properly. So it's important for both a quality and a quantity perspective. So in the city of Los Angeles, uh, the last stats that I heard about this are that every inch of rain that falls within the city produces about three and a half billion gallons of runoff. So just imagine that. Imagine that three and a half billion gallons of runoff just uh, run off of our streets, which become our, our creeks whenever it rains, pick up pollution, and then ultimately just end up wasted in the ocean. The vast majority of that becomes wasted in the ocean, and of course it has carried all those pollutants along with it. So yeah, we're a Title I school, which means that more than 70% of our students get free and reduced lunch. So because of the things that's happening to our physical environment around us, we're not able to come to school because the school will be closed. Members from our UCLA team visited classrooms at Brockton to demonstrate the filtration process of green infrastructure using a simple vocabulary and a small natural filter. The students and teachers showed great interest in water and environmental issues, and we want to encourage this curiosity with interactive design applications. So our rain gardens, impermeable pavement, and every application of green infrastructure that we'll have on this campus will be paired with educational signs, both in English and Spanish. The students can learn what green infrastructure is, why it's important for both the school and for society. We propose the incorporation of one green roof, three bioretention areas, four drought tolerant rain gardens, and 4,800 square feet of permeable pavement that drains into an underground cistern. These applications of green infrastructure will reduce stormwater runoff and improve air and heat quality on campus. Engaging youth is extremely important, so having them understand how water uh, fits into Los Angeles and having uh, examples on their own campuses is an excellent way to have those people become uh, the change agents of the future.